Time for another no frills, no BS. How to do something on a car. This time we're doing an alignment. I'm working on a front wheel drive Volkswagen, but this should apply to any car that steers with the front wheels. All right, what we gotta do first is build a jig. Uh, the idea here, the theory behind it is we wanna build a box where we have some reference point to measure off of, which would be fishing string right here. And we want the fishing string parallel to the travel path of the car, which means we have to box the car and make the string equidistant to the rims and make it parallel to the travel path. And the way we do that is we make a jig. So you can use just about anything. What I used is uh, some plumbing copper pipe from the local home improvement store. I cut them the same length with the bandsaw and then clamp them together drill a hole like you plunge a, a drill bit through both of them so the hole is in the same spot and then put a screw in it that way you have something to tie the string to and what i do is i set it up on jack stands in the front and back that way i can slide it around and move it up and down and we'll look at the back real quick here no surprise looks like the front step number one with this is uh well let's do the prereqs first first you need a good tool to do your measurements, uh, we're not talking Harbor Fright. You need something good like a Mita Toyo, Brown and Sharp, anything with a name brand, something that's going to be accurate because you want accurate. And you also have to be able to zero it, which pretty much all digital calipers you can zero, so that's not a big deal. Uh, this car is a project car, so it's kind of, uh, you know, there's nothing in here. So what I do is I take some straps, some ratchet straps, and I lock the wheel down. Uh, you cannot rely on the column lock to hold that wheel. It will move as you're adjusting tie rods. So you want to keep it pinned down. So ratchet straps for the win. Uh, another prereq is you want to set the fishing string to bisect the, the wheel, which means the fishing string is like right in the middle there. And the way you do that is just look, just raise your jack stand up and slice the wheel in half with the string. It doesn't have to be precise, just get it close. Uh, that gives us a more accurate measurement when we start doing our measurements. All right, now that that's out of the way, our first step is to set the string equidistant to the rims on the back. And the way we do that is we're gonna, all the measurements we do, we're like all the math for this is gonna be average. So it's gonna be two numbers added together divided by two. Now the first thing we do is, for the measurements, is we'll, uh, we'll do a precise measurement. This is all precise, right? We'll go off the back of the rim and we'll just lightly touch the string with the digical and note that number, go to the other side do exactly the same thing. I'm trying to make this video in under 10 minutes. So we'll take another measurement, lightly touch the string, right down, oh look, well I already did this car so everything's just perfect, right? Uh, if your numbers are different, which they will be, add the two numbers together, divide by two, set your digital caliper to that number, and then slide the string over until it touches. And that should be equidistant on both sides. Do a verification check. Go to the other side and make sure you set it the same distance on both sides before moving to the front. Uh, do keep in mind the back will move around a little bit as we adjust the front. So you're going to have to bounce around. This is not a uh, one and done kind of thing. You've got to go bouncing around from the front to the back numerous times until you get it down to an acceptable tolerance. But that makes your, your uh, whole alignment more accurate. Now... If your toe is all out of whack, which it should be because you're doing an alignment, right? How do you set that string equidistant to the rim? Well, that's super easy. We're going to average it again. So what we do is we come off the back of the rim. I'm being a, a little wild with this. I'm trying to hold a cell phone and do this at the same time. So come off the back of the rim, take a measurement to the string, write that number down, put it on a calculator, use your phone. That's what I do for the calculator. Take a measurement off the front, write that down, add those two numbers together, divide by two, that gives you your average. We'll call this side over here 90 millimeters. Let's go to the other side and do that. We're gonna take a measurement off of the front, off the back, 
Add those two numbers together, divide by two. Oh, that number was 96 millimeters. Sorry about the jump cut, my phone just died. Um, back in action. So we've determined the string is 90 millimeters on this side and 96 on the driver's side. So if we wanna get the string equidistant to the rim on both sides, the string needs to move three millimeters towards this side. And the way we do that is we uh, do a pre another another measurement. If you uh, if you have the original measurement from like if you wrote it down like I don't write this stuff down. Damn it, I keep holding the caliper wrong for the cell phone. So we do a measurement off the front, and we'll lock right there, and then we'll smash that origin button to zero it, and we'll move it. So the string needs to come towards me three millimeters so I just set it on the string and then like visualize it right you just pull it back three millimeters right there close enough lock it down and what we're gonna do is just move the string over grab that pole move the string over till it touches and that should keep this that, that should make the string equidistant on both sides and I would recommend doing uh, another verification check on the other side. Do another average measurement. So measure your front, measure your back, add the two, divide by two. And then do it over here again and make sure they're pretty close. They gotta be like within, I, the closer you get the better of course, but half a millimeter should probably get you where you need to go. Now at that point, you got it, you got the string equidistant on the front, even though your rims are, you know, all over the place because your your toe is messed up. Go back to the rear and do it again. Like I said earlier, two, three, four times. The more you do it, the more accurate it is. So once you're happy with your string being exactly parallel to your travel path, uh, we get to do the toe adjustment. Uh, we're working on a Volkswagen here, so hopefully before you even started, you, uh, you loosened your tie rod lock nuts and made sure your tie rods will move. If they're rusty, they're not going to move very easy. And if you're having to work around this string, that's kind of a pain in the ass. So do all that shit beforehand and that way you won't mess up your string. So the way we do that, let's, let's call this wheel, we'll say this wheel's towed in really bad. It's like, like that. What we're going to do is we're going to take our measurement off the, fr off the back, off the front, We've determined it's towed in like the difference in that measurement is like 10 millimeters like this front measurements 10 millimeters farther away which means the wheel is pointing in so what we do is we add these two numbers divide by two that gives us a number to shoot for we just set our digital caliper to that number pop it on here reach your hand under there and adjust the tie rod until the string touches everything you do on this car is about averaging so uh, it's pretty simple and once you get this dialed in go to the other side and do it and where I showed you how I locked the steering wheel down there's a reason for that because as you're adjusting these one side will like it'll move the rack so one side will move as you're adjusting the other so bounce back and forth between these two a couple times until you get your measurement really really close like within like I said half a millimeter is what I always shoot for and hopefully uh Everything works out that way. Go back to the back again and make sure those things are still equidistant before taking the jig down. Do your final measurement one last time before taking the jig down. Oh, and if you're working on a Volkswagen, of course, uh, I mean, look what these people did. Whoever owned this car before, they, this is straight. I don't know how in the hell they drove it like this. I don't think they did because the wiring harness on this car was messed up. But yeah, I'm going to pop the wheel off and just straighten the wheel up. Because right now it's sitting in my garage, traveling exactly straight ahead. And uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about camber. I know this video is getting a little long-winded. Uh, camber, I don't use tools to set camber. I just do it by eye. Uh, it's a Volkswagen. Who the hell cares, right? So I just sit down here, eyeball it, see it's cambered in just a hair. Pop off to the other side, look at it. She's cambered in just a tiny, tiny little bit that's good enough you know it doesn't have to be super precise with camber that's not going to mess with your steering unless you're like into tracking or you know doing race car stuff 
So yeah, I hope you learned something. You can do all of this stuff uh, with found objects and just a digital caliper.